So one of the most common questions I get is this, right? Hey, Rainer, how to trade NFT? How do I trade the news? How do I you know profit from FOMC? And as you can see, right, uh, a question I got from Care Unit First Aid Services, right? Hey, Rainer, can you make a video on how to trade the news? Thanks. And one thing that I want you to know is that whenever you're trading news, high impact news, is that the market is rigged against you. You are not playing on a level field, right? You are at a strong disadvantage. And let me explain why. During high impact news release, right, the market is in a low liquidity environment. This means, right, that prior to the news release, right, traders, they will pull out their orders away from the market. So when they pull out orders from the market, the spread in the market would widen. Okay, there are many, you know, pockets of gap in the uh, the market now since there is no bids and offers anymore. So when the spread widen in the futures market, what happens in the spot market, the one the market that you're trading? Your broker will also widen the spread because they need to protect themselves, right? Because if not, arbitrages will come in, right? And you know, it will hurt their trading business. So when the futures market, currency futures, the spread widen, spot market, the spread will also widen. And in fact, your broker tends to widen the spread even more than the, than the spread on the futures market, right? All, all because they want to protect themselves. So when the spread widened, what happens? Well, when the spread widens, when a low liquidity environment, right, all you need is just a few orders to come in and the price will go crazy, it will spike up and down. Just a, a few orders and you can push the market around. So when the price goes up and down, when it spikes up and down, what happens? You get stopped out if you know, if you trade during a, this market environment. In fact, let me explain, right, what I mean. So you can see over here, this one over here, okay, not, not this chart. Okay, so as you can see on this chart over here, this is where the news is released over here, NFP on Euro dollar. So you can see that the price uh, spikes down, then it spikes up and it comes back down. So imagine, right, traders who trade the news, maybe, you know, prior to the news they are in a the trade, they have their stop loss below this low. What happens? Well, they get stopped out, right? Price spike down lower, they get stopped out. Or maybe traders who are short, Prior to the news, their stop loss, chances are it's above their size. What happens? They get stopped out as well. Or maybe, you know, some traders, they wait for the news to come up, wait for the numbers to come up before they, they trade the direction of the breakout. Well, what happens? Well, you can see that over here, price, it broke down, broke below the swing low, and then the market comes down. If you're not fast, the market quickly reverses back up higher and you get stopped out as well. Then you look and say, hey, okay, maybe this time around the breakout is real, right? Price, you know, this time around it breaks above this highs. Look at how bullish the candle is. Look at how bullish this candle is, right? This time the breakout has to be real. Then what happens? Price collapse, you get stopped out again. So this is what I mean by, you know, the market is rigged against you, right? During this low liquidity period, spread widen, price spike, and you get stopped out. And not only that, you lose even if you're right. What do I mean by this? Is that, I'm sure you have you know seen this many times right when the price goes up on bad news the price can even go down on good news why is that well because news trading right it's not as simple as hey good news right time to buy hey bad news time to short no it's, it's not like that right because as you've seen right price can go up on good news and it can go down on good news i mean go up on bad news go down on good news so in reality right news trading is this you're trading the expectations of the news release you're trading, right, what people would react to the news release. So if the news is bad, but the expectations of the crowd is bullish, right, the price will go up and you need to trade that expectations that of the of the people, right, who are bullish that the price will go up. So you can see that this over here, trading the expectations of the news release, it's near impossible because how are you going to know, right, how the crowd would react to the news? Heck, I don't even know what I'm going to eat for lunch tomorrow. How can I even predict how people will, you know, react to the piece of news that's going to come out. So it's actually, I would say it's near impossible, right, to, to trade the expectations of the news release. So given these two points, right, the market is rigged against you, you lose even if you're right. This is why I suggest that, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, right, don't trade the news. Don't trade NFP, okay? But for those of you who are, you know, still, who wants to do it, right, then here are some tips that I have for you right, on how to trade NFP, on how to trade the news. By the way, if you're enjoying what you're watching so far, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is below. So do it right now. Okay, so what first thing that you must know is number one, 
know how the price moves. So generally, right, whenever a piece of news release come out, the price usually is like this, right? The market goes quiet for a while, then it spikes up, comes back down, goes back up, and then it goes a little bit quiet. Something like this, right? There are many variations to it, but usually, you know, the market will pew pew, right? It goes, it whips up and down, and then it goes quiet a little bit. So there are many variations. It can be, you know, maybe instead of, you know, doing a spike up first, it can spikes down, spikes up, come back, then it goes quiet. Okay, so there are a few variations to it, or sometimes it can even, let me share with you, it can even, you know, spike up, spike down, like, you know, spike up, spike down, spike up, spike down, and then it goes quiet. Something like that. So you can see that whenever news come out, high impact news, the price tends to do a few whipsaw before it goes back to its uh, normal market condition. So bear this in mind, right? Because you will see this a few times later on. So the more one is know how the price moves, what I just shared with you. Number two, ignore the first move. So whenever the news just come out, there's usually the first move the market is going to make, whether it's going to break out higher or break out lower. I want you to ignore the first move. Two reasons. Number one is because during this period, right, the spread is usually pretty wide. If you look at your MT4 uh, terminal, or your broker, your spread is usually wide during this period. And you don't want to be trading when the spread is wide because you are down immediately 20, 30 pips, right? The moment you, you hit the buy order or the sell order. So it's not favorable to you, okay? And second thing is that, as you've seen earlier, if you know how the price moves, you know that the first move is usually the fake move. So don't get suckered in, right, by the, the huge momentum candles because it's usually the fake move. So second tip I have for you is, you know, ignore the first move. Third thing, right? You want to wait at market structure. So, so don't just chase the markets, right? In fact, be patient and let the price come to you. So what I mean by wait at market structure is this. So let's say, you know, uh, prior to the news release, let's say the market goes like this, up, down, okay? News release comes in, then it spikes up, then it comes back down, then it goes back up like this and here, over here. So over here, right, when the news is first released over here, this is the first move you want to ignore. But when it comes back down, right, and over here, let's say this is a market structure. Maybe this is a swing low. Maybe this is an area of support, right? Over here is where you look for buying opportunities, right? You want to wait at market structure because market structure is a frame of reference where you can use, right, to establish a position to enter the trade, okay? So this is what I mean by wait at market structure. It can be a trend line, support resistance, and etc. So all these uh, levels, right, you want to plan before the news is released, right? Don't do it when the news is out because it's too late already. Your levels have to be there, right? Prior to the news release. Okay, and fourth thing is that you want to trade the reversal. So during news release, it's better to trade the reversal, not the breakout because the breakout tends to be fake as, you know, what I've shared with you earlier. So this is how you would go about, you know, trading the news, know how the price moves, ignore the first move, wait in market structure and trade the reversal. So let's have a look at a few examples, shall we? So over here, right, this is NFP on, this is February 1st, okay, 9.30 NFP came out. So if you just remember what I shared with you, right, ignore the first move. So this is the first move, right, ignore this because this usually, you know, uh, it's a fake one. So second thing, okay, is uh, you want to be waiting at market structure, okay, second thing is waiting at market structure. So you know that this is a area of support. So over here, there is this huge reversal that you see over here. This is a possible setup for you to go long. You can go long on the next candle open. Stop loss might be below this low and try to, you know, capture a swing during the news. So where you can possibly take profit is possibly at this highs over here. Okay. So it will be something like this from a risk to reward standpoint. Let me just draw it out. Okay. So maybe you enter here to here. This might be your reward. It's called it R E. And here to here might be your risk R I. So you can see from a risk to reward standpoint, it's not even a one-to-one -one for this particular so-called trading setup, okay? However, that is not the only uh, setup that you might have, right? Again, over here, you can see that the market at this highs, it break out, then it reverse lower. So over here, you might consider, you know, going short, stop loss above this highs. Again, this is, will be your risk from here to here would be your risk, RI, and here to here, Right, you might pos possibly you know, consider taking profits at this uh, swing low. Might be a reward, RE. So I don't want to go too much you know, into you know, uh, trade management and stuff like that because uh, it's not possible to cover every aspect of it. But these are a couple of things for you to consider. You know, where might you want to set your stop loss and where might you want to consider taking profit before the opposing pressure comes in. Okay, So this is one example of how you can trade the news release given uh, the few tips I've shared with you. So let's have a look at you know, a couple of more examples. So... Now it's, uh, how about March, right? March the 8th, okay. 
So you can see over here, another news release over here, 9.30 NFP. Okay, so in this case, right, again, I shared with you, right, don't ignore the first move. So this is the first move over here. Market at one point in time was very bullish. You trade all the way up high. Can you imagine that, you know, there's this huge spike over here. So at one point in time, okay, this candle, this candle is actually a big, huge ass bullish candle. I said, right, ignore the first move. So if you ignore this first move, you wouldn't have gotten caught on the wrong side of this uh, this trade over here where, you know, traders are buying, 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 buying until the absolute highs, then it collapsed lower. Okay, so ignore the first move. Second thing, wait for the price to come to market structure. In this case, there wasn't really, you know, uh, market structure that the price came into. Maybe possibly the only one I can see over here is this, uh, this one over here where price come into this uh, swing low. Other than that, not really anything. And for the... Opposite side, it would be this one over here, price coming into this uh this uh area of resistance, this swing high. So these are you know couple of eight levels, right, that you can look for trading opportunities. Okay, entries and exits, trade management again is really up to you. But hopefully the examples that I shared with you, right? Letting the price reverse first, right, then setting your stops, right, beyond the levels, and then consider considering taking profits, right, before opposing pressure comes in. So let's say for example, go long over here, stop loss below this low, right? Where would opposing pressure come in so you know that this is a swing high chances are sellers might be lurking over here this is a pretty good level to consider taking profits likewise you know if you are short at this uh, area of resistance at the highs where would potential buying pressure come in chances are might be at this swing low over here so this one depending how you manage the trade if you didn't exit fast enough it might be even be a losing trade as the price you know uh rallies higher okay so one more example shall we so let's look at uh january January uh, 4th, okay. So I think this one, our last available bar, not available. Let's go to the 15 minutes time frame, January 4th. Okay, another one, example NFP. So remember what I said, ignore the first move. So over here, this is the first move. Price came down lower. In this case, right, it did, you know, trickle down lower for quite a bit before the reversal came. So uh, for those of you who trade the breakdown, uh, you might have some profits along the way, but again, if you if you hold on for too long, right, the, the the second move come in, right, and it would you know wipe out all of your profits as the reversal came. So you can see that again the how the price move, right? News release come down, swinged up, up, down like this, right? So it's similar to what I just shared with you earlier, okay? That that you know whipsaw price action. So in this case, uh, I would say, uh, I wouldn't know how you know you would be able to get on board the trade. So market structure, if you ask me, would be somewhere here. And somewhere here so for this one the price clearly didn't come deep into this market structure enough uh, you may or may not enter the trade then as it spike up higher this over here possible uh, opportunities to go short right near the highs of this uh swing high okay so this is uh how you know you can go about trading the news so let's do a quick recap right number one don't trade the news if you don't know if you don't know what you're doing this i would say is really for professional traders traders who can who are glued to the screen right most of the time okay this is what professional traders do they they can trade the news because they are glued to the screen most of the time but for retail traders who are you know doing this like you know with a full-time job you don't have time to you know be watching the markets all the time don't do this but if you still choose to you know want to trade the news then here are some tips to bear in mind number one know how the price moves right this is so important so as mentioned the price usually it's quiet before the news it spikes up down swing up and then it goes quiet sometimes it may just you know goes quiet swing up down and just go quiet so there are many variations to it sometimes it might swing you know a uh, couple of more times or sometimes it might just go quiet so whatever the case is right bear in mind that you know it would you know always chop up chop up and down i won't say always but usually it chops up and down right during a high impact news release and then you want to ignore the first move because the first move is usually not the real move the real move is usually the reversal and where you can look to trade the reversal is that market structure support resistance swing high swing low etc and once price comes into this market structure you can look to trade the reversal it could be you know just bearish i mean a, a reversal candlestick patterns all right to help you time your entry into the uh to, into the trade okay so that's uh pretty much it if you want to learn more okay about what i do my trading methodology and stuff like that go down to my website trading with rainer.com over here the link and then i would say recommend downloading this guide over here price action trading ultimate guide to price action trading it will complement right the uh what you've just learned earlier about you know news trading market structure support resistance this guide is a, a huge complement to it just click this orange button and i'll send it to your email address 
for free. So just go and download this guide on my website. And uh, any questions, feedback, let me know. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is all below. So with that said, I wish you good luck and good trading. I'll talk to you soon.